Thank you for joining the lunch. How was it? I saw you are having my dry braised salted fish all for yourself. Perhaps you liked it. <laughs> you did? I'm glad to hear that. You're asking me if I made it from special ingredients? Oh no, really. I'm not making things up. I made it from the fish that have been dried on the ship. They were completely ordinary, that's all. Captain Beta was impressed as well that you could clean out her specialty in one go. Looks like you and Paimon really loved it. It's my pleasure. You helped us gather the cooking ingredients, so... All of the members should be grateful to you. Including me, of course. Since you let me join you for your after-meal stroll, let's go to a place where we can sit down and rest, shall we? All right. Let's head off then. Speaking of Paimon, sometimes her intake just surprises me. I can say she does know how to enjoy food, but I never thought she could have all those empty dishes piled up around her without bursting at her seams. Luckily, we did run out of food at some point, or we might would have had to gather more ingredients just to satisfy her hunger. We are lucky that the weather is so nice today. The sun is warm, the skies are clear, and the salty air from the ocean is as refreshing as it could be. Even the sand beneath our feet is a serene storyteller, each grain a witness to the tides of existence. Especially when we can feel the delightful breeze of grass and leaves from far away. I can hear them all. The stone of Guyun Stone Forest always has stories to tell. Tales of the sea's gentle caress and the wind's whispered secrets. I hope you are enjoying this walk as well. might not want to get too wet. Take my hand. We're going to uh, take a little leap, <laughs> so to say. Are you ready? Good. Hold on. <laughs> there. Now we don't have to worry about being soaked in the water. I mean, it probably wouldn't have been a, a big issue, but just for precaution. We never know what the tides bring, after all. Hmm? Oh, I can use my vision at any time, you see. The vision is proof of one's strength. And I'm not hesitating to use it if I have to use it for someone I care about. It sure is unnecessary to limit its powers only to combat. Or, are you surprised that I'm still holding on to your hand? <laughs> no need to. I just want you to be safe when you're with me.
Mind the gaps under your feet. You might twist your ankle if you're not being careful. Don't worry. I won't let you fall. Do tell. Do you prefer to stay on land or on the ocean? Perhaps you're fond to both of it. I see. Your answer always surprises me. No, no, no. I don't mean to say it's not typical, nor do I mean it's disappointing. I don't have any expectations to you after all. I'm just happy whenever I get to learn more about you. For me, I prefer both. The wind is everywhere and the scent of nature always soothes me. It doesn't matter if we're on land or near the ocean. Why don't we take a break? Come on, just sit down. I'll make sure you won't fall. You've got nothing to worry about. see what you mean. It is indeed cooling in the shade, and it is refreshing to stay under it while we are sitting on this warm rock. Under the branches of the tree, as the day gives away to night, time seems to stand still. It is as if the universe is whispering secrets to us, inviting us to slow down and embrace the beauty all around us. What do you think? Do you want to stay here and just watch the sun settle for a while? <laughs> but don't look into the sun directly, please. Just wait until it slowly hides itself behind the clouds. As it settles down more and more, everything is turning to the color of gold. The jade chamber, the mountains, the clouds, even the ocean water. Its waves dance with the sunlight, their sparkling crest a symphony of liquid diamonds. Each crash is a crescendo, a reminder of the boundless power held within the embrace of its vast horizon. Just watching the sky turning yellow, then gold, slowly blending into scarlet, and then back to its original color in blue. It is starting to turn into the color of maple leaves, don't you think? The whole land of Tevet is already full of wonderful mysteries. They even lie within the sunset. The way the sun vanishes between the mountains, it's almost like it's saying goodbye to the world, promising to return with its gentle warmth once more the next day. Life is a series of moments like this, fleeting yet beautiful, just like the sunset. And as long as we have these moments, as long as we're here to witness them, life remains a breathtaking adventure. Well, I guess.
get it if you say I'm very poetic, but in truth, no one is able to deny the beauty when it comes to the wonderful scenery. Look at our silhouettes, etched against the warm hues of the sun rays. There's something truly magical about watching the sunset by the shore. It's as if time slows down, allowing us to savor every fleeting moment. And this is why I chose here as one of my favorite spots. I always enjoy watching clouds and falling asleep on the rocks here when Beto lets us stay for a while. People say the ocean's rhythm carries the echoes of time itself, whispered secrets woven into every wave. And uh, that kind of reminds me of you. A mystery waiting to be unraveled. A story waiting to be shared. Being here with you under this tree, watching the sunset, feels like discovering a hidden treasure. Now to think of it, you always wanted to see me play a tune, no? What, what do you say about if we stay here for a little longer? To relax to the sound of the waves. Crooks? <laughs> I'm sure they won't find me for now. I do enjoy drinking wine with them, but sometimes I find myself undisturbed when I'm with you. I hope you feel the same way, at least. You do. I knew we would enjoy the tranquility among our presence and see how the world changes in its merest ways. I've spent my life wandering through the winds and seasons, finding solace in the world's rhythm. But there's something truly magical about sharing moments like this with someone special. And I must admit, the company makes the sunset even more enchanting. There's a comfort in knowing that as the sun sinks below the horizon, there's still light in the world, in your smile, and in every conversation we share. Just like those fallen leaves carried by the wind, we're carried by the currents of life, and yet, Amidst the chaos, there's quiet stability in knowing we're not alone. Let me see if I can think of some tune that is fitting for this beautiful evening. We're the only ones sitting here anyways. And we have all the time left in the world.